Hey guys, it's Madame Wario, and welcome to my newest project! It's Let's Play The Sims 2 Pets for PC. This is the first computer game I've ever played for YouTube, so... I'm really excited about it, as this is probably in my top three favorite games of all time, no joke. I've wasted so many hours of my life on this game, it's crazy, but it's so addictive and so much fun. I know you guys will love it. Um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get started with building a house for the family that we are about to create, and as we're doing that, I'm gonna explain some things. This is post-commentary, by the way, I'm just kinda going over everything in fast motion. You'll see why if you've never played this game before. If you have played this game before, yeah, you're gonna learn my style of building, I guess. So, first things first, we gotta enter a neighborhood, and I chose London. I just kind of briefly scrolled over all the different towns that I have going on, but most action happens in London. This is a town I renamed, I think it was Veronaville, or Veronaville, whatever the heck that town is before, and um, it just comes with the game, it comes on the game. I changed it to be London because I thought London was a lot cooler, so for all you pimps in London, you're pretty hot. Also, this is the town! I'm just gonna briefly scroll over everything so you kind of get a feel for what this is like. Anything with a green diamond above it, that means it is occupied. Some random family is living there. And if not, it means it's available to be purchased. Now, I always build a house. Uh, they have these pre-made houses on this game that you can build whatever. Or, not build, but buy. I just, I like to build my house. I like to make things super fancy and super pimp, which is what we're going to be doing. Um, so, I know f for any of you who are unfamiliar with this, this is all kind of a blur. Trust me, there's going to be a lot of time to explain things as we get into the building process. Um, anyway, I wanted to go over some, you know, town features briefly. You can add trees and landscape to your town if you want. Obviously, there is the house option where you can add a house or just a blank lot, which is what we're going to be doing because that's what you build on. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and choose the lot size in a moment. You can also add a downtown. That's what that little link is up at the top that I just went over. Um, there are other various things that can be added to your town, like you can have a college campus if you get, um, you know, another expansion pack, which I don't have. Um, it's the Sims, what is it, Sims University, I think? I think that's all it is, Sims 2 University. I never had that expansion because I heard it was boring, but um, anyway, you can have all kinds of add-ons to your town though to make it more interesting. This is a very intricate game, I'm just going to say that. Also, something you want to do is make a tiny lot and put dollar signs on it. We'll benefit from that later. Then, um, next time we'll be creating a family. I just kind of went over that button, whatever. We're going to enter 64 Pimp Drive, which is where our house is going to be. So, here we go. I'm going to start from the beginning and start explaining some things. So, The Sims, if you did not guess, already is a simulation game. If you're familiar with my projects, it's like Animal Crossing. It's, you know, you kind of play and go and make your own story and, you know, pay off your house and get a job and blah blah blah. It's kind of like you just play God if you're playing this game. Now this is all me building right here. This is all we're going to be doing. And for whatever reason, I think videos like this are extremely addictive. You know when people make like those speed paint videos and stuff and they're like, yeah, you know, they're like really detailed and they're so fast and you're just like, you spend like 40 minutes watching it, just them, somebody speed paint something. Yeah, that's totally, totally like mesmerizing or something. So I'm glad I can finally make a video like this. Now there are several goof ups as I'm building this house that, you know, I have to go back and correct later, but that's kind of, you know, to be expected. So anyway, as I was saying, this is a simulation game, meaning that you pretty much build the entire game yourself. Um, you kind of make the story of the game, you make the characters, make the place they live. Obviously, Sims are like humans. They are the humans of gaming. So um, that's what this is all about then. Now, what I'm doing here is I, I kind of have a family in my mind already that I'm going to be 
adding to this house, so when you see the number of rooms and things that I add, I'll kind of explain that as I go. Um, there are several rooms that I left unfinished on purpose because I wanted to be able to go over this in detail live when it's not sped up like this because it's just so hard to explain everything about building a house and making an appropriate landscape whatever for a family in one video. It really is like ridiculous to try and do that. So I didn't even want to do that. I was like, you know what, I'll just leave some of these rooms blank, which I usually do anyway, which you'll find out why later again when we actually have a family. And um, so that way I can really explain things with this because I am kind of going to be talking a mile a minute while we're making this first video in this first house. And I say we because I do want some input from you pimps um, now and again. Obviously, I can't take much input from you now on the whole building of my house. I decided that we live in a tropical part of London. Does a tropical part of London exist? I don't think so, but it does in this game. Also, I apologize for any lag on this video. It was a very big file, especially with like the introduction, as you probably saw. There was a lot of lag there, which there usually is for me anyway. That introduction so fast and weird into this game that it's like, uh, well, that looked really good, and it really didn't. Um, but anyway, yeah, don't worry, the gameplay shouldn't be like that, it should be a lot better. Um, so right now, I'm just kind of building the backyard, which is the pimp yard, if you didn't guess. This is kind of the party area. I always start with this. I start with the outside and work my way in. Because if you don't, you will forget, and you'll like build a whole house and you'll be like, oh crap, I don't even have a backyard or anything. Um, so I try to make things super colorful and super pimped out. You remember the show Flavor of Love, if anybody does, I was obsessed with that show. Yeah, this was kind of my inspiration for this since that was all about being a pimp. Um, so I really went with the stereotypical pimp whatever on this. I just was like, hey, let's do that. That sounds fun. Um, so yeah, we've got kind of a party, party backyard going on here. For anybody who has Sims 2 but doesn't have any of the expansion packs, most of what you're seeing here is from Sims 2 Nightlife and Sims 2 Pets. Um, most of the party stuff comes from Nightlife though, so seriously, Nightlife was the only expansion I had forever. And I loved it. It's my favorite expansion still. Um, Pets is nice, but, you know, I'll explain why I'm not the biggest fan of it when we get into families, because if you have an animal, it, like, takes away from the number of family members you have. It's really bizarre. Look at our pimp cars. And then I added a family van that we hide in the garage, because that just seems like a normal thing to do. Um, anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Well, I probably should go back to talking about, you know, the whole goal with this game is there isn't really a set goal. It's kind of a, you know, go with the flow type game. It's really fun though because you can make your own house and like you and your family and play out ridiculous scenarios and like stories that would never happen and they're always just hilarious. Um, I really, I can't wait until we get to the part of the game where we'll actually be playing, even though the building part is fascinating as it is so ridiculously intricate and, well, it can be ridiculously intricate. Um, so yeah, something I should mention is probably that this is a game that has a lot of expansion packs available. What that means is that with every expansion pack you get is just more features. There are more features, there's more furniture, more options. A lot of the bugs have been worked out of the system in a lot of ways. New things have been added. It's just one of those deals. It's like an update, except you pay for it and it's way more awesome than just an update of a game you already have from like, I don't know, Xbox Arcade or something. Um, so anyway, building takes a really, it takes a really long time if you do it in a detailed way, which I always try to because I like my houses to be very detailed and very organized and like decorated well and I don't like to just have a plain house and I'm not one of those people who's like, alright, let's get to the game, forget the house. Like, no, I'm totally about the house. 
I seriously will spend like a day on this game building my house and then the next day I'll actually make the family and play. Um, this house took me about two and a half hours to build and furnish and detail and all that good stuff and I pretty much left an entire floor unfinished um, just because that's the part I want to show off in game live when I can actually narrate live and explain things a little bit better when it comes to building for any of you who are interested in getting tips or have maybe never played this before and now that you're seeing it you're like I have to have this and you know you want to know how to do all that good stuff that's why I left it like that the floor I'm on right now is actually that floor this is the floor for the kids rooms if you couldn't tell um, and then the upstairs this top level is the bedroom of the pimp now um, the whole story I'm going with I'm not even gonna reveal yet I'm just gonna say as I've warned already it's adult it is um, this is like the kid friendly portion now the actual gameplay is like what the F um, so you know just another warning to any children watching who are like wow this looks fun yes I will tell you I got addicted to this as a child but um, yeah it is really a more mature game than it looks like right now um, but you know I like the way that it is mature and it's not just like, oh my god, there's blood and gore, it's so dumb. Like, no, I, no, I don't go for those kind of mature games. Those are lame. I go for the pervy kind of mature games. If anyone's seen Lucky Star, as I've recommended about a thousand times as a fantastic anime, um, <laughs> I feel like this is one of the games that the main character would play because it's, it can be very perverted. Um... So anyway, yeah, we're looking at some of the themes I've got going on. I thought this was kind of a cool Mario Galaxy-esque theme going on in this bedroom. I figured it would be for the oldest child because I do plan to have children in this game. So, what do you know? The pimp's gonna have children. That has to happen in Sims or it's not, it's not good. You're like, no, it has to be better than that. Um, and then the other two bedrooms... I guess the pink one is obviously for my need for a girl, and then the blue one is the either way. I'm picturing the Mario Galaxy one for a boy though, so you know, who knows? Who knows what'll happen? Also, when you're building, make sure you save a lot as you're seeing me do, because oh my god, I can't even name the amount of times that I have not saved, and this game has frozen or crashed, and I lost everything that I spent three hours doing, so make sure that doesn't happen to you be a smart person and save don't be like me where I'm a total doof until it's too late um F yeah open door with a curtain for the bathroom we don't get closed doors it's all open it's all out there just saying and we gotta add curtains I mean this is like the pimp room how can you not have curtains I do have to say, when it's all said and done, this bottom level is my favorite, though. You'll see why, especially right now, because this part took me about 10 zillion years to actually figure out. And I'm not going to reveal it, because you'll see it. Um, this is actually the kitchen area. I'm making the kitchen right now. And the theme I was trying to go for was screwing up about a zillion times, only because I didn't have the right measurements, I guess. For, um, the floor and everything I had to change it and rebuild part of the bottom level of the house so you know you'll see all that in a second listen to me just going on and on about stuff um, that you'll see soon enough in the future oh boy so um, let me think suggestions yeah I have not made the family yet. I don't know that I will have by the time the next video goes up, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, um, go ahead and give suggestions anyway for, I guess some kind of character points. That doesn't really make much sense if you've not played this game before, but if you have and you know how amazing The Sims is, go ahead Give me some plot twists you want to see. What do you want some of the characters to accomplish? You know, what do you want the teenagers to be like? What do you want the kids to 
be like with each other? How do you want their relationships to be? And if you cannot tell, this is the DDR kitchen. I made this the Dance Dance Revolution kitchen, which is why it had to be perfect. Um, because I love DDR. I'm not as good as it- I'm not as good at it as I wish I was. But it's one of those games that I'm just like, this is the best thing ever invented. I'm like the person who watches people play that and I'm just like jealous. Like, oh, why am I not this good at this game? But... Oh, I love the music in that game too. It's fantastic. Also, the remix you're hearing right now is actually, um... It's all from Sims 2 Nightlife. Because this music was sped up so much when I sped up the video clip, I had to go ahead and replace the audio with just some audio I already had from Nightlife. So none of the songs you're hearing right now are actually features of Sims 2 Pets. So I apologize because none of those songs are actually in this game. Um, or not this game, they are in this video. They are in this game, they're just not in this video. So. Um, yeah, I, I apologize for the missing fun of The Sims 2 Pets music because I love the music that was added in once the Pets expansion was added to. So, um, anyway, on that note, you will be hearing it when I am live again. This is probably the only, if not one of the only videos I'll be having that is post-commentary with this project, and it probably is going to be one of the only videos that's sped up. This is going to be one of those projects that's kind of difficult to manage, um, just because of how time works in this game, but we'll figure it out and it'll be perfect. By the way, I love that little, like, Nintendo video game little wall thing that you can hang on your wall. It's in the kitchen. I love it. If yeah, high chair baby mode. Woo! So that's our DDR kitchen. Um, I went ahead and decided to paint the house at this point, which took me a hot minute because I was like, what color would a pimp house be? Not thinking. I don't know. What are the colors of M-dubs? That's what I should have thought, right? Um, so yeah, I tried a lot of random things at this point. Oh man, so um, let me think, something else to keep in mind as we really dive into this game officially is that, yeah, a, a lot of the stuff you're seeing now, oh, like all the detailing that is going into these rooms, it helps you so much later. For all of you who are like, why do you put so much detail into your rooms and add all these decorations and crap. Seriously, Sims are like the most high maintenance people in the world. They complain over everything. They're like, there's not enough decorations in this room. There's not enough flowers. I don't like that there's not light in this room. And then, you know, um, if you haven't noticed all these tiny rooms I'm showing you right now are the bathrooms. I usually use about six to nine tiles for this. Haha, <laughs> 69, dirty number. That's the amount of tiles I use because that's really the only amount of tiles you need. And I made it shady and had a window directly over the bathtub, which is terrifying. And paddles, because it's kinky. Um, anyway, I love the paw prints on that floor, too, in this uh, bathroom in particular. I wanted to show off how I build bathrooms because bathrooms do not need to be huge. They can be very small. Um, the more you have, I like to have one bathroom per sim, so if you have a sim family of eight, you should have eight bathrooms, and you'll see why when we get into gameplay again. Um, I know I keep saying that, but there are just some things I cannot emphasize enough. All those little rooms on that second floor, and that long purple floored room, um, on the other side, that is a bathroom. All three of those are bathrooms, because I'm planning for this to be, you know... Three kids, that means three bathrooms, there you go. Two bathrooms downstairs, because if anybody comes over, they like to poop and pee like a mother. Um, and then yeah, I decided the pink room was going to be the baby's room. Oh man, here it comes, the pimp bedroom. This is the lair of love. Now, I know. I know, it's got to be pimp, and it's got to be legit, and it's got to have a ton of stuff in it. That is the number one thing. So, um, 
This room is obligated to be kind of crazy. This is something I really like to do. I love to put candles on each side of the bed, um, a curtain over the bed, and then one of the really expensive paintings inside the curtain because it just it cracks me up to do that. It it just looks so fancy to me. It's kind of like a canopy um, with just a better bed. Um, as you are seeing me shopping on here, again, if you're not familiar with this game, the further you go into the list of items available in the shopping section, like right now I'm buying rugs, um, and the ones on the bottom right, like the further you go to the right, um, and if there are two rows on the bottom, the more expensive. That's just how it is in this game. It goes from least expensive to most expensive, and it's in that fashion. Left equals least expensive, right equals most expensive, and top row is just like average, bottom row is expensive. So that's just kind of how it goes. I don't know why, I mean, it, it works. I don't know why it's particularly designed like that, but it definitely gets the job done, gets the message sent. So, oh boy, man, I've got some pretty intricate stories concocted from this game that I'm going to be building off of, and I want to reveal them so badly because some of them are just so funny. They're so inappropriate, but they are so funny. And I can't stress enough that the morals expressed by my sims are absolutely nothing like the morals expressed by myself. Um, <laughs> isn't that terrible? That is absolutely terrible, but it is so true that my sims have the worst morals, but it makes for a hilarious soap opera of a story when you actually get into it. Um, so yeah, we had to have a hot tub in here, and I was going to have the one that's built into the floor, but it just took up too much room, so I'm going to have this nice tacky one on the side until we can get a better one, um, because there is another one you can get that is much better than that, but, you know, you have to unlock it with gameplay, so. Anyway, and then we're going to just add pictures of girls, because I guess I decided that the pimp is going to be a guy, um, because there weren't a bunch of pictures of guys. I don't know, maybe the pimp can be a girl and she can just be bi. We can just go with that, whatever. Um, and, you know, there's like a piece of furniture at every possible space, as you can see. Um, that's a lot like my room. There's just stuff all over the place. My room is kind of like a zoo at the moment. For those of you who have seen my updates and things of me live, there's so much furniture in my room. Maybe not at the angle that... I usually film, but it's like, ugh, I can't get away from all this furniture, it's crazy. But then again, I feel like the less furniture you have, the smaller your room looks, and you'd think it would be the opposite, but from experience, that's not the case. Look at that water in the black toilet, you can see it. Okay, so, oh man, what else should I talk about? There's so much to cover. I mean it, once I start talking about this game, it's like it's all a blur, like I can't possibly fit all of the information I want to fit into just <laughs> just one video, even if it is 30 minutes long, like, it, you know, building a house. I could go on for like four hours about building a house, minimum, seriously. Um, oh, I love that big aquarium. Oh, it's so legit. I love all the animal prints in this game. I'm not really an animal print... I don't know. I mean, I want to say I'm not an extreme animal print enthusiast or anything, but to me, something about animal print is just like really, it just screams like cool in a lot of, a lot of circumstances, especially when it comes to the pimp room with all the animal print furniture. <laughs> now, when it comes to clothes, I do like animal print. Not to go overboard, but, you know, I love things with tigers on them for some reason. I have a weakness for tigers. I don't know what that's about, but it's like 100% true. You know, wild cats I just have a weakness for in general, but especially tigers. So, um, for those of you who have seen my Let's Play from last year, it was The Sims 2 busting, or it wasn't Sims 2, it was The Sims busting out for Game Boy Advance, which is a wonderful game, by the way. Fantastic. Um, was very excited about that project. Um, I feel like I'm still enthused about that project, even though it's over. It's just like one of those things. I'm like, yay! I'm glad that that was done. Like, 
I was really looking forward to that for a long time. But anyway, as you can see, if that was the first Sims game you ever saw, you can see how much better the PC version of Sims is with this much detail and freedom alone, I swear. It's just like, wow, there's so much more in this game. Now, if you're familiar at all with The Sims 2 stories, maybe you didn't just get into the regular Sims 2 games, or I think they might even have Sims 3 stories, but, um, you know, if you're not as familiar with just the regular games, but you're familiar with the story games, um, Sims Bustin' Out for Game Boy Advance was a lot like Sims 2 stories or whatever. It's the same thing where you have, like, certain events you have to live through and people you have to get to know. That's the Rainbow Road room by the- or not the Rainbow Road room, the Mario's Rainbow Castle room, by the way. Rainbow Road room is an Animal Crossing. I'm gonna start getting them all mixed up, right? Now this Madame Wario colored room, um, at the moment is the living room. And then this is the office space. I made this room for a reason. It's the last room I complete and I'll say why when we get to it. Um, so yeah, but anyway, if that was the first Sims game you ever saw and now you're seeing this, you can see what I mean when I say there's just so much more freedom and so much more you can do with a Sims PC game. And that goes for Sims 1 as well. Sims, the original Sims for PC was like this too. You could build your house, obviously the detail graphics, all that good stuff were not as good. They weren't as advanced. I mean, it, it was the 90s or 2001, I think. Probably earlier than that, honestly. Um, but, I mean, it was a fantastic game for being a PC game at the time, and I, I still quote it, go back and play it. It's, it's awesome. I love it. Also, for any of you wondering, you know, why am I not playing The Sims 3? Well, number one, I don't have The Sims 3, and number two, I am extremely familiar with The Sims 2. So I felt like buying Sims 3 for this project would just not benefit me at all. It would just be like, oh good, I have to learn everything again, and I don't know what I'm doing. So I'd much rather be familiar with it and just play Sims 2. Also, if you want to get these games, these are probably a lot cheaper on eBay than Sims 3 and the expansions that go with it. Now, Sims 3 is more detailed, obviously, as it is more recent, more current, but um, this game is fabulous. Same thing, less detail, old, older now, it's not really old school. I wouldn't consider it that anyway. But, um, Yes, this is a fantastic game. You can get this on eBay. Awesome. I would totally encourage that. However, if you are trying to save computer space, um, Sims 3 actually takes up less memory than Sims 2, ironically. I don't know why that is, but it does. I guess they just built it better. Um, a lot of the Sims features, like with just daily functions of the Sims characters in general are better in Sims 3 as they've been corrected, the bugs have been worked out, etc. Um, but this is by no means a bad game at all. Like I said, I've wasted way too many hours of my life on this game for me to say, oh, it's, yeah, I'll just get Sims 3 because this one's alright. No, this game is fabulous. In fact, it's hard for me to even imagine how they could make a better Sims game than Sims 2. And when I say that, I include all the expansions as well. It's just kind of like one big game. I don't like to separate them. Um, anyway, as this is the Mario's Rainbow Castle room, it is the Mario Party room, so it has to be a dining room, a party room. That's why we have the table with all the balloons on it. Also, the Mario um, Party-esque theming kind of went into the living room as I had to change the wallpaper color to pink instead of purple because there's like barely any purple furniture in this game, FYI. I don't know why that is, but it's disappointing, so I had to go with the colors of Wario and, you know, a lot of the Mario Party 1 art where he's uh, yellow and pink for whatever reason. He's not purple. Even in the game he looks pink. It's really bizarre. I even have a little drawing I made when I was little of Wario, and he is seriously yellow and pink. So, I don't know. I don't know why that is, but it's true. Oh boy. By this point in time, when I was building, I was like, oh my god. I'm gonna die. Because I had just been concentrating so hard for so long. To see it all whiz by like this is like, wow, I wish it was really like this. I love those kids' drawings you can add to the rooms, too. It makes 
It made me feel like that room belonged in Discovery Zone or something. Anyway, I made this office room for one reason alone. I wanted to show off how a normal room can be created as pretty much none of my rooms are normal. They're all within pimp or ridiculous theming, which is kind of the fun of Sims. But if you want to make a super professional looking house, which I've done before, which is really awesome, like with hoity-toity pimps, um, this is the way to do it. Um, I say this because it has a lot of decorations, it functions well, your sims will enjoy it, it's connected to a bathroom, people love toilets, it's just a good mesh of things. So that's why I went ahead and built this serious business office room. Also when you actually turn on the game all these chairs will scoot in, just FYI and that account too. Um, all your chairs will scoot into the table. It's really bizarre to say that. But with that, we're done! Those rooms will be finished later. Um, that, yeah, that's the entire building process of the Pimp House, which is 64 Pimp Drive. So, alright, this has been Madame Wario. See you next time.